This is Frank DeMore with the End Times Research Ministry. Today is April the 20th of 2017, and what I'd like to do is bring you back to one of my warnings concerning the bird flu and what we should be looking for when we're dealing with disease, because Jesus told us in the last days we're going to be faced with disease. That was one of the signs. I'm bringing you back to a post that I put up. You'll see prophecy signs for April the 9th of 2013. And I'll scroll down here. I do have a video. And when you play this video, then you'll see that I talk about the bird flu, that the case that I was reporting on back in April of 2013. So let me show you what I warned you in this post of 2013. In my book and over the course of the past five years, I've been warning you to watch for diseases that will begin to jump from birds to animals and then to humans. Here is an example of one of my many warnings on this issue. This warning is from my August 27th to 2008 post. So not only am I talking about the April of 2013, I bring you even further back to August the 27th because over the many years I have been issuing these types of warnings. One of the diseases I have been warning you about is the bird flu. Health officials have already stated if this disease begins to jump from human to human, it will kill millions. We are in the first stages of birth pangs in relation to the problem and it wouldn't surprise me at all if this is one of the many diseases Jesus was speaking about. Believe me, it is worth keeping your eyes on, especially if you choose to decline Jesus' call to salvation. And as I always do, I'll give you the scripture, the warning, that Christ gave to us, as you will see here when I talk about disease from Matthew 24 7, and you'll see encompassed with the many signs in this particular scripture, you'll see pestilence or disease. So let's face it if a person believes in Jesus Christ, and obviously they would have to believe the warnings that he gave to us, we should be looking for these diseases that are going to spread like wildfire in the last days. And I think the way many of these diseases are already mutating and causing havoc for the doctors to create vaccines to kill them off, I think there's a major problem coming. And I think the footprints of those diseases are already being established. So when the health officials are concerned about the transmission to human to human, I believe that it will happen. I believe that it probably already is starting to happen, but maybe the governments don't want to share this kind of information because they would probably think people would begin to panic. But something just doesn't jive with the news that is coming out. Let me show you why I gave you my warning and I gave you a little bit of information about the bird flu. Now I'm gonna bring you to a report this is a recent report, April the 20th of 2017. Take a look at this. China announces outbreak of H5N2 bird flu in Hebei. There's a video which came with the news. Watch this. The outbreak of the bird flu H5N2 was recorded in Hebei province in East China. In particular, the disease caused the death of more than 4,000 birds in one of the poultry farms. Authorities carry out massive vaccinations of the residents of nearby settlements and poultry farm workers are under quarantine. Besides, with the aim to prevent the spread of the disease, 125,000 birds had to be exterminated. Other details of the outbreak have not been reported. Now, those of you who have gone into my book and you read the chapter about the birds, fish, and animals dying, you would see the news about the bird flus and all the Asian flus that have been reported on. And so what I did here for you is just to take January to April of isolating just the bird flu and the diseases that are killing off birds. Because you're going to see that a pattern is being established and it is getting worse. The number of cases that are being reported seem like they are expanding as the number of birds that have to be killed or called, if you will, 
because of these different diseases that they're catching. If you go back to my book and you go all the way back for the past seven years and you isolate every one of the bird flu cases that are being reported, I couldn't have time to isolate them all. That's why I'm just giving you from January to April of 2017. And you're going to see there's quite a bit of news concerning the birds dying off. Take a look at this news. Now, I'm just going to scroll down real quick here. I'm going to put the news links that I have in this video at my website so that if you want to go into January and click those links and see about the birds, the bird flu, and the Asian flus and all these different numbers associated with these diseases, please feel free. It's a free book. You could download it today. So take a look. I'm just going to scroll down here starting with January 3rd of 2017. Dozens of birds fall dead from the sky. I mean, they're happening all over many, many countries around the world. And I give those names after each report so you'll know exactly where these incidents are occurring. I'm just going to scroll down now. Take a look. And I hope you're taking a look at the numbers of birds, as I said, 600,000, 800,000. And the last one is April the 18th of 2017. That's the short list. As I said, you have the longer list right there in my book. And it goes on and on with the cases of bird flu. So as we can see these reports that are being reported now on a regular basis. And as I said, the number of these birds are astronomical that they're killing off. Go back to 2013 and you'll start to see patterns flowing out here. As we see the number of cases of birds dying off, we're seeing the number of cases, as time goes on, of people contracting these bird flus. For example, this article that came out in 2013, another bird flu death in China as number of infected grows to 95. The article starts off that there were 95 people that contacted this bird flu the latest one was a 69 year old man from the Xujiang province now this is where you should focus in on it said this on Friday health officials raised questions about the source of this strain of bird flu indicating that more than half the patients had no contact with poultry in other words how the heck did they get this disease if it's not jumping it goes on well it is not clear how people are becoming infected the world health organization who says there is no evidence of the most worrying scenario sustained transmission between people come on on one case they're telling you they don't know how they got it if they weren't around the poultry so they got it from someplace now let's keep something in mind here. We're talking about a poultry industry where they get large sums of money, not just in China, but around the world. When I make my videos for you, I want to make it the best I can to give you the most information that I can possibly give to you. So this is a teaching site, if you will. So when I'm talking about a billion dollar industry, take a look at this information that I pulled up and you'll see what I'm talking about. Wages and benefits. Companies involved in the production and processing of poultry provide 1,814,200 jobs that pay 100.2 billion in wages to families throughout the country, generate over, get this, 469.6 billion in annual economic impact and about 32.9 billion in taxes. 
The poultry industry in the United States employs as many as 374,063 people across the country and generates an additional 1,440,180 jobs in supplier and ancillary industries. These include jobs in companies supplying goods and services to the industry. These are good jobs paying an average of $55,200 in wages and benefits. I don't want to be naive when we're talking about big businesses because we've seen big businesses fabricate lies for example the car industry where the airbags for example were supposed to be safe and instead of protecting people they let the airbags go out and a lot of people were harmed money speaks and when it makes an indentation on your profits we've seen it in the past that the truth really doesn't come out in its entirety until somebody discovers it and all I'm saying is, let's not be those naive people thinking that this amount of money... Now, keep in mind, we're talking $469.6 billion annual, all right? That's just in the United States. So compound that figure worldwide. And when you have a major producer of chickens, for example, in China, and that many people... You're going to want to go out and tell them that there may be a problem of human to humans catching these bird flus. There's a good possibility that answer would be no, they wouldn't want to tell them the full story. All I know is are coming in regularly and people are getting sick. And now we're starting to finally see the reports telling us they can't figure out how they got them if they didn't handle or being around the chicken, the poultry. So just put the dots together. You can make up conclusion. There's another thing to also consider. Chickens are a staple for many people around the world because for number one, it's a cheaper dish and people can readily afford chickens. But you start killing off these chickens, you start destroying the eggs because of these infections, you're going to see the price go through the roof and I'm going to cover that as well. So I'm going to take you now to 2017 we're jumping from 2013 this news from science came out on February the 17th of 2017 bird flu strain taking a toll on humans report came out of Shanghai China an avian influenza virus that emerged in 2013 and I just covered that is suddenly spreading widely in China causing a sharp spike now get this in human infections and deaths so what they reported back in 2013 they didn't know how the heck that they were getting these diseases now in 2017 we show again that people are contracting these diseases and there's a sharp spike in human infections and deaths so this becomes serious last month alone it sickened 192 people, killing 79, according to a, an announcement this week by China's National Health and Family Planning Commission in Beijing. The surge in human cases is cause for alarm. I've been sounding this alarm since 2008. Says Guan Yi, an expert in emerging viral diseases at the University of Hong Kong in China. We're facing the largest pandemic threat in the last hundred years he says as of 16 january the, the cumulative toll from h7n9 was 918 laboratory confirmed human infections and 359 deaths according to the world health organization who despite its high mortality rate n7n9 has gotten less attention of late than two other new strains like I said in my warning watch when these things start to mutate so again I repeat two other new strains H5N8 and H5N6 that have spread swiftly killing or forcing authorities to call millions of poultry but so far H5N8 has apparently not affected people H5N6 has caused 14 
human infections and six deaths. That's almost half of the people who are contacting these things are dying off. It becomes serious, especially as the number of cases continue to come out. How long will it be before it actually is spreading like wildfire from human to human? These diseases are changing. I covered this article from Science from February of 2017. But there is a new report that just came out. Let me turn to that now. This report was issued by the World Health Organization. It came out April the 18th, so that's really current. Human infection with avian influenza A, H7N9 virus, China. So it seems like China is very active when it comes to these types of bird flus and people getting sick. On 7 April 2017, the National Health and Family Planning Commission of China, NHFPC, notified WHO of 14 additional laboratory confirmed cases of human infection with avian influenza A H7N9 virus in mainland China. In the next paragraph, they give you the dates that it was covering from the 14th of March to April the 4th, and then it gives you where these cases were located. And then it goes on to say, at the time of notification, there was one death and 13 cases were diagnosed as having either pneumonia, five or severe pneumonia, eight, 13 cases were reported to have had exposure to live poultry or a live poultry market. And here we go, one case had no definite live poultry exposure. In other words, he wasn't around any poultry, but yet he got it. As I already told you, the reports keep coming in. Now, since I mentioned it, what will happen to the prices if they continue to kill off these millions of chickens around the world? Take a look at Revelation chapter 6.6. 6. Those of you who have come continuously to my website or my YouTube channels know that I've posted many times about Revelation 6.6 6 where it says this. And I heard a voice in the middle of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny and three measures of barley for a penny. And again, when you do a study of what Jesus is showing us here, taken from the Revelation and what he said to his disciples when the, he was teaching his disciples, we know that by the time the tribulation rolls around, that people who are actually here, left behind, are going to be facing some food crisis like this world has never seen. The prices of food are going to go through the roof. Now, if we have these major diseases that affect not only the birds, the fish, and the animals, but also the people, as prophesied, then who's going to do the crops who's going to bring them to market and even if they do bring the crops because of everything that's taking place during the tribulation not just pestilence but weird weather the storms flooding the insects killing the crops the heat the driest conditions this world has ever seen so there's going to be a lot going on but what we do know is the price of food is going to go through the roof. And people will have to work all day long for one very small meal. And it is only going to be enough for one person for just that day. In other words, the next day they're going to go out and have to try to figure out where they're going to get the next meal from. So if you have a family, good luck. The worst conditions ever. Please take that to heart. I know there's a lot of people who don't believe anything that I'm saying, but you're going to find out the hard way when everything blows to the finality. In other words, when this world is cast into the tribulation period. So as the eggs are being destroyed, as the chickens are being destroyed, in many, many places around the world as they contract these diseases, take a look at this, for example. The Korea Herald came out today. The 20th of April, egg prices rise again due to bird flu outbreaks in Spain, U.S. Prices of eggs are on the rise again recently as imports of chickens were halted from the United States and Spain due to outbreaks of bird flu there, industry sources said Thursday. 
Prices of chickens and eggs surged to the highest level in recent months in three decades as more than 33 million chickens were called following a nationwide outbreak of avian influenza late last year. The prices have fallen briefly with the import of chickens and eggs from the U.S. and Spain, but began moving up again. The retail price for a carton of 30 eggs rose to 7,696 won, or $6.07, as of Wednesday, up from 7,311 won a month earlier, and 5,351 from a year earlier, according to the Korea Agro Fisheries and Food Trade Corp. So we're seeing patterns being set, and I'm hoping that you can see that. So it would behoove you to keep on the watch, watch the reports as they keep surfacing about these different types of bird flus that are killing off the poultry. I promise you this, you will see a lot of this news and it's going to get worse, I believe, because Jesus told us in Mark 13, 8, that this generation would be going through the birth pangs. And I've been following this particular story, if you will, just on the cases of bird flu, and I've noticed a pattern. And that pattern is we're another step towards the fulfillment of the book of Revelation. As the Lord warned us, diseases were going to come. Now, I will say this in closing. If you do buy a chicken, make sure that you wash this chicken that you're going to eat thoroughly. And then any juice from that chicken that spills in the sink or on your counter, please wipe it away with disinfectant and wash your hands just as a precautionary measure. Now, the people who saw my warnings all the way back there in August of 2008 know that I'm not blowing smoke. I'm providing you facts and information that is showing you we're on that road that Jesus talked about with the diseases that he said would come. Now, get ready for it. And the way you can get ready for it is be prepared in Jesus Christ. What I mean by that is receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Because none of us knows if we're going to even be alive tomorrow. We're blessed that the Lord has provided each day for us. But only God knows when your number is up and you want to be ready, whether it's today, tomorrow, or be ready even before the tribulation begins. Because the Lord promised he was coming back for us and that he was going to remove us from the wrath of God. I'd love to hear your comments. This is Frank DeMora with the End Times Research Ministry. God bless.